Happy September 30th, everyone. I'm Leo, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. I promised we'd work on Ivy's personal emotional quest today, so let's do that first. I am thinking the event of last week that connected with Ivy's fulfillment issue was the conversation with Seskel when we met him on Thursday. He's got a past that he regrets where he tried to convince Rafex to do the right thing and failed. Um, and we all know the results of uh, Rafex uh, work. So I think that pulled a heartstring with Ivy. She, she also has a past that she regrets and is trying to redeem herself by doing the right thing. Um, and so that's going to be, here's the mythic stuff. That's going to be a connection rather than a, a mirror of Ivy's issue. So we're dealing with a likely odds of, um, of her progressing on her emotional quest. So that's going to be this row here. I'm going to roll a 2d10. White is the 10s. 90. Uh-oh. 95. That is an exceptional no. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, so what does that mean? She's going to get minus one to the current fulfillment value. Uh, your character is very troubled. All right, so that takes her to back to four of 12 on her fulfillment value. So then we have to figure out what that means so um i think ivy in her heart of hearts ivy feels there aren't enough good deeds in all the world to make up for the harm that she feels responsible for so she feels torn in two directions by seskel's story on the one hand it resonates with her um on the other she instinctively finds his goal hopeless but Seskel's naive, or what feels to Ivy right now like naive optimism, strikes her as noble but foolish and unrealistic. So she welcomes Seskel aboard, but she feels disconnected from him and maybe from everyone in the party in this moment, as his optimism highlights her doubts in herself. Okay. Flashback concluded. When last we played, Ivy and party encountered a large group of critters fleeing Oberworth. I think it was Oberworth they're fleeing from. A village somewhere. Uh, the calendar indicated the virtuous thing to do was to convince the villagers to join us in an attempt to rescue the other villagers that were left behind in some kind of attack by night nightmarish shadow phantoms with claws. And that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. An, old, an odd barrier presents itself in the middle of the road outside the town of Oberworth. You can hear muffled screams from fiber sacks just beyond the barrier. Uh, we're going to do three things in order. What is this? Uh, two, get past the barrier. And three, open the fiber sacks. Okay. <laughs> I think we know what this is. Uh, looks like our clawed, shadowed, nightmare phantoms are spiders. Maybe giant spiders. Why is it always got to be spiders? Okay, what is this? Roll d20 plus intellect. Reminder, student. 18 plus 2 intellect is 20. That's the best result. You've heard of insects that can organically make a sticky and stretchy fiber like this. The process still eludes you. Knowing it is elastic, you should be able to cut it easier than trying to break it. Gain a plus two to get past the barrier and open the sacks. On, so plus two on both of our next rolls. Okay. Step two, get past the barrier. This is an attack roll plus a villager squad. We've got five on our squad, so and our attack is plus eight. So we get a plus ten on this roll, plus... Oh, jeez. I don't remember if one is automatic failure. Um, let's say it's not. What do we what do we get if it's not an automatic failure? One uh, plus eight is nine. Plus two is ten. Uh, we would need 
uh, uh, four more points, right? Yeah, which we can probably do. We have consumables. Um, I th I think we'll just go with the worst result here. If the result is 13 or less, I'm going to assume one is an automatic fail. If the result is 13 or less, in trying to break... Oh, I skipped something. Hold on. These silken threads are remarkably strong and difficult to break. Okay, now the worst result. In trying to break and cut through this barrier, you get yourself and your weapons covered in sticky fibers. Roll d20 plus strength. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh... So worst result of the worst result, you spend a considerable amount of effort getting this substance off. Reduce your health by two. Okay, so we're down to 25 health. All right, third step, open the fiber sacks. Another, oh, we could have re-rolled that because um, we have royal might and we can do it twice. Should we re-roll that? Let's do it. I'm going to re... Okay, so rewind. Um, maybe we didn't lose health. And we're going to let Ivy use one of her royal mites to re-roll a strength roll. It's got to be better than one, I hope. 13, there we go. Plus three strength is 16. Okay, you take time getting the stuff off yourself and your items reduce your health by one. <laughs> All right marginally better 26 health okay now the third third step open the fiber sacks another strength roll oh my god that's three that's three ones today this is uh do we need to retire you and die okay we're gonna use our other royal might 20 there we go and we get a boon die look at that uh the dice are being up and easy day. There we go. That's our boom die. You come across several tightly woven fiber sacks hanging from the trees. Muffled cries for help emanate from within, indicating that some critters are trapped. And now this is the best result. You open both sacks in time to find critters alive. One is unconscious but safe. The other is ready to join you on your quest to save the village. Add one to your count of villager safe. Add one to your count of villager squad. Okay. Um, they both go up by one, so we go to six in our squad. And one that is safe. All right. That, my friends, is September 30th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope that you will join us. Thanks for watching.